Hello friends, this is Coldron. Welcome back to Subnautica. And we are here having just gotten out of the, the watery depths of what I think was... I think the, the game called it the... Um, the Deep or something? What was it called? Hold on. I don't remember where it was, but I think it was called the Deep Reef. Um, yeah, so I think it was the Deep Reef that we were in. And yeah, there's another radio signal, or did I just not sig uh, save after I saw the last one? Radio, radio. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Well, fuck, that's not great. That's the same voice that we heard um, in the prior thing that said they were, like, sharing targets and all that. So there's some group of hunters out there that... Here's the thing, though, because I was going to say there's some group of hunters out there that are going after the, 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 sh the crash people, uh, the, the, the Aurora people and the any humans there, really, the Degasi folks and everyone. And that's why everyone is dead. And apparently I'm the only survivor. The only thing is that for some of these, we know from like the Degasi hat folks that they were just got killed by, like, by a, a giant kraken, and like the the ones in the base we just found, they were killed by a giant kraken. So maybe it's the case that the kraken is, uh, like working for that the kraken is the hunter. That could be. I mean, that would, it's a terrifying thought, but I guess I would assume that those Krakens were like, I don't know, just natural predators on the, on the world. Maybe not. So we have five glass. I just made five glass, farmed quartz and got glass, five pieces of glass now because I want to see if I can make an alien habitat, what that was, or a, it was like the alien containment facility, rather. Where is that? Locker. Oh, locker's actually probably interesting. And where is this? Here we are. Alien containment. Oh, I need two titanium. Optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. Hmm. I don't know why I want to make alien... Like, why I want alien fauna to grow. Like... I don't know if I can... Maybe that means I can farm peeper fish or something. That seems unlikely, though. So we're going to put it on the second floor here. Alien containment. Uh... Oh. It's pretty big. Actually, it's really big. I don't know. Alien containment. Despite huge Altera-led advancements in stellar technology, exploring new worlds still has its challenges, and alien life forms are one of them. That's why we built the Alien Containment Unit. This unit is designed primarily to breed larger or more dangerous species. Units must be installed in multi-purpose room modules. Units may be connected between, multi between rooms stacked in a column. Between rooms stacked in a column. So, does that mean... I can put it like... Wait, what? Between... Was I misreading? What was... What did that say? Units may be connected between rooms stacked in a column. Okay, let me... Hmm. So it looks really too big to just pop in a multi-purpose room the way they're talking about it. Huh. Between multi-purpose rooms stacked in a column. 
I don't get that. Let's see if I can deconstruct the ladder if that all of a sudden, like, that's where I'd put it then, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get to this now, but... That's okay. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Well, that's a terrifying prospect. I don't like it. So I can put a hatch in to go into it, right? I think I need to put a hatch in to go into it, right? Add a hatch to enter it. Okay. I don't know what the point of having this in the stack then is. Like, I guess I can't, I just can't go between. Am I trapped in here now? I might be stuck in here. Unless, can I add a ladder somewhere else? Yes, I can. Okay, so a ladder doesn't have to be right in the middle. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So where do we want to put a hatch? We want to put it on top here? Can we put it on top even? No, it has to be on the side. I was hoping we might be able to put it on top and just drop in, but actually that doesn't seem like the smartest idea. If there's something in there that ends up wanting to eat us and we don't have an easy way to get out, then that's probably not great. Hatch. Boy, this is, uh, this is kind of crowded in here. Okay, we're in the alien containment. Use planter. So I brought two things with me. I brought uh, this creature egg and this membrane tree seed, both of which we got from uh, our last area. So let's see, use planter. So we can't put an egg in there. We can put a membrane tree in there, but it's grayed out. I don't know if that's good or bad or what that means. Is there a thing for, is there like, is a hatchery separate from this? Hmm. They said aquariums are an opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Let me read this again. Alien containment. Breeding trips, tips. Um, all right, a hatch must, sorry, uh, all right, here we are. A hatch must be installed in order to access the unit. The base of the unit is a planter, allowing sea flora to be grown from seed. Okay. So this is for flora to be grown, not for eggs. Breeding tips. Provided sufficient time and living space, organisms of the same species should mate and reproduce. Eggs inside the unit will hatch over time. Organisms raised from birth and captivity often exhibit unusually passive behavior. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not going to, like, if I... It's saying that I might get... I might sometimes uh, hatch, like, aggress normally aggressive stuff that won't be aggressive here. How do I... put an egg in here? Do I just drop the egg? That doesn't feel very... Uh, oh, shit. Uh, let me out of here. It looks actually like that is the, the thing to do. Okay, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Where's the exit? That's freaky as fuck. Let's put more stuff in there. What else can we add in here? So these are this is all that I have left. So I got a furled papyrus seed, a regress shell. Does the gray mean I can't take it out? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I think that just means it's growing or whatever. And a sea crown seed. So those are all the things I have right now. 
So we'll see how that goes. And let's drop this egg in here. Uh, it's not pulsing in the same way. It's probably a good thing. Maybe? Let's put this on the other side so that the little eggs don't try to kill each other. One more thing I'm going to do for right now. Because I think it's important to provide the babies in this nursery with the right environment to grow, the right atmosphere. Um, you want to set them up for success in their lives. Give them something to aspire to, really. So we're going to put a picture frame over there. There we go. Perfect. It's like uh, putting a little picture of, I don't know, nursery rhymes in the or nursery uh, like fairy tale pictures like uh, in the in the room of a kid. Yeah, this should be nice and conducive to its growth. So this is going to be a experiment. They said that you can the the little uh, lore description for this thing. The PDA description said that you can put two of a creature in here and they'll start to breed. So let's see if we can get some pre peeper loving going on. It doesn't seem to be adapting too well to captivity. It just understandable though. Okay. Good luck, friends. All right, now we have an extra floor here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it felt like useful having. Anyway, I also want to check out an aquarium. Or not alien containment. Where's the aquarium? There was an aquarium I found somewhere. Wait, crab squid egg discovered. Uh, could I just pick up a... No, it must have hatched. It must have turned into a crab squid. Why would I do that? That's a terrible idea. I have to go back and kill it as soon as possible. Because, like, if it... Well, presumably his head's domesticated, so that, or that's more passive. But I'm afraid that if there's a crab squid just kind of in my alien containment facility now, like, won't it start zapping everything around it? and eating the peepers. Uh... Did it die? Oh my god, there's a juvenile crab squid. I see it. It's a little baby. Oh, that's kind of adorable. I was going to call it a brain in a jar, but we now know it's a stomach in a jar. Crab squid. Hello, friend. I am your parent. I am your parents. I am all of their parents. So I think I want to put in an aquarium now, because I don't know what the difference is between that and alien containment, but my hunch is that... Hey, there's three peepers. They are reproducing. I think my hunch is that I probably don't want a crab squid to be living with food. I want to starve the crab squid. Assuming I'm assuming that, like, they're the containment gives them automatic food or whatever. But let me see about making an aquarium and see what that's like. Or maybe it won't work here either. Oh. What? This is... It, I have to put it in kind of the middle, I guess? Okay. Let's put it in the middle of the floor. Right on top. There we go. Right in front of the in front of the water bottle. This is not well set up, but I'm comfortable with that. All right, so let's test out if we can. Well, let me re actually let me. Oh, look, there's the uh, there's the thresher. They're all making friends. Let me test out 
not test out, let me read a little bit about this because I haven't really read the blueprints of these things. Habitat installations, aquarium. The aquarium is designed to hold and sustain up to eight small aquatic organisms and fits inside a regular multi-purpose habitat room. 70% uh, of all known species. It's often used to house livestock for later consumption as it is to hold specimens for xeno research. An automated environment regulation system means there's no need to feed or care. Excellent. Due to its size, the regular aquarium is not rated for breeding applications and creatures are highly unlikely to mate. Construct a full size. Okay, so actually this seems to suck. Actually the aquarium seems to suck. So that was a mistake to make it. Let's unmake it. Here's a question. Am I supposed to do something with the crab squid? Like I get that the peepers I can use just for lunch, but like... I don't think the crab squid is good eaten. Same with the thresher. So is that, is the, are they just purely cosmetic? Because if they are, that's totally fine. I just, I, is there something I'm missing about why it's good to hatch a crab squid? Power bio, let's read about the, the reactors a little bit here. Bioreactor. On planets where organic matter is plentiful but sunlight is not, a reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution. Organic matter is plentiful, but so like plants and stuff may be installed in any multi-purpose habitat room, chemically composed organic materials, converting them to energy over time. Except all plant matter. Okay. From seeds and spores to moldy fruits and veg. This is what the moldy spores are for. Okay. 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 Can also process animal matter, fat, muscle, eggs, etc. into some organic waste. Energy production is proportionate to the calories in the organic matter. So the bigger the thing, the more it, more energy it provides. Okay. Nuclear reactor. Renewable energy sources will usually be sufficient for maintaining the small outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. So this is more power, significantly more powerful than solar, of course. Powered by up to four replaceable uranium reactor rods. So that that's what the... Um, the, the material I got from before was the little uran uraninite or whatever. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without a full radiation suit. Okay, so I will still need the radiation. I'm glad I didn't destroy that. I still have my radiation suit. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. Ideal for energy intensive operation, operations such as self-sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people. That's not me. Research stations housing live specimens. That's sort of me. Um, industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery. So this is this is the big deal. Okay, and then thermal p thermal uh, yeah thermal plants are f uh, yeah okay good good good. Oh God, it's big. The crab squid is big. It does seem to just be chilling out, but I'm still nervous. So we're going to try making a bioreactor. I don't know why. Mostly because I don't like having stuff that I haven't made. Because it could be really good or it could be bad. Right, where we're going to put it. Oh, God, and it's big. Uh, yeah, we'll put it on top of here. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Thank you, PDA-san. PDA-sensei. Um, so how do we use it? So we have to put stuff into it. Can I put a peeper into it? Peepers are probably better for food, but let's see if I can put a peeper into it. Let's journey, let's, all right, this will be a test. We're going in with two normally hostile creatures. No, they're okay. I can pick up the crab squid, no thanks. Actually, hold on. Let me traumatize these creatures because they said it's based on how 
much how many calories that go into this. So let's try There, we killed a peeper. Let's see if this provides some nutrients. Or not some nutrients, some uh, fuel. It won't matter for right now. This is mostly just a test. Yeah, it's turning it into organic matter. Okay. Or it's turning it into... Oh, that's cool. Look at it on the inside. Look at that peeper getting churned up. Okay, that's going to be it for... Power out of 725. I guess that's... um Right, because... I, I, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So I think I'm good for now. Um, I'm going to call it for here. Next time I'm going to make a vac take a trip. I'm going to take a, take a trip to the island and try to set up a scanner room on the island. And hopefully that works. See you then. Bye-bye.